As a public reminder, all rights of this show go to Disney. I am in no way owning any of this footage except for their reaction. With that being said, I hope you enjoy, you frog-loving fans. What's up, YouTube and Amphibia community? It's your boy, BD Heath A. Back with a really, really, really delayed update on the Amphibia series. That is that I have not finished all of Season 3A yet, which is what we're doing here right now. We're going to rack to Hollywood Hop Pop, and if you give a frog a cookie, and then after I end up recording this, you won't know it, but I'm recording it, recording the, sorry, recording the final Season 3A Froggy Little Christmas after this is done, but I won't release it until like another few days after this for sure, but it is coming out as well. Another thing I want to mention also is that we'll be reacting to all of Season 3B of Amphibia, because that's the end of the series, sad, crying, but just to let you guys know, I have not seen any spoilers somehow about this entire time. I have not seen a single spoiler about all of Season 3A, but I'm excited to watch them. I'm excited because Season 3A, Season 3B does start up in about, what is it, March 3rd. So it does start up in about two weeks from now, which is scary to think about, but it does, and so does the Owl House. We're going to be reacting that too. I don't know if you're talking about what I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing what I'm going to be doing right now, which is exactly what I plan to do, which is Amphibia. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I haven't watched Amphibia in a good bit because I've just been a bit busy. Hope you guys understand. I almost forgot how to do this TV show reaction kind of stuff. Can I show this? I forgot if I can show this on screen or not. I don't remember. Oh, that's new. Oh, I, 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 that is new. Okay. We got Marcy in the title now. Alrighty. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, that explains why Marcy wasn't in the screen before. It does, exp it does explain that part. Okay. Um, also, just so you guys know, I won't include any background background music so you guys can make sure you can hear me clearly. I will have a meme every here and, here and now just so you guys can have some laughs every now and then, but I won't put a meme here clearly because this is just sad. Like, <laughs> so sad. But no, um, seriously, this is going to be good. I'm excited to be back watching Amphibia now that I have time to catch you up on some stuff that I'm very late on, but that's perfectly fine. Alrighty. Bring the screen back up. Here we go. Hollywood Hot Pop. So this is gonna be like a human version of Pop Pop's love for yeah. Okay. It's almost as if your world actually respects actors. For That's a. If only it were true. Like it is true, but a lot of actors are getting some hate right now. And that, that is just facts. That is just facts. Also, if you're not used to the way I react to stuff on here, I try to make sure I get as much of the episode as possible in here with leaving time to talk about stuff. I like to break stuff down as I'm watching it and create theories in the episode. That way I'm not having to make a reaction episode and a breakthrough episode. Or breakthrough. Breakdown episode. You're getting two in one. It may take longer, but they're both in the same section. Let's carry on. Possibly. You but Mr. X is after us, and he's seen you, so we need to keep a low profile. He's gone. He's what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't surprise me one bit. That sounds exactly like... If anything, it'd be Sprig that would leave first, though, if I'm being honest. Sprig would always leave first. His Sprig's the person that always wants to leave the... He never listens. Sprig never listens. We all know this. But no, um, Hop Pop leaving for, uh, for, a, for something like that definitely makes sense. Although you think you'd have more common sense in that kind of situation, but... Then again, this is a kid's show, and nothing really makes sense, plus talking frogs. I guess now I'm looking at it more, there, there's a line of old men, but since those two look so much alike, I feel like there's going to be a mix-up, maybe. And, and you guys are probably thinking, Heath, one's orange. They don't look alike at all. But no, in all fairness, like, they, they little like, face structure, same kind of, I mean, Hop Up has a fake nose, of course, but it's a very similar complexion. If these two were to get mixed up. Guilty as charged. Still waiting for my big break, though. Humphrey Westwood. Nice to meet you. You an actor, too? Oh, it's only my singular passion. I'm Hoppadiah Planner. Say, I thought I knew all the senior male actors around here. You from out of town? He could say that. Just dimensional world travel, you know. But who Who is the person that voices um, the other old man? I know it's from Gravity Falls, but I don't remember what... Or who it is. Uh, I gotta figure that out now. Better leave a comment down below about who it is, because otherwise I might remember who it is. That's, 
That's cool, though. I, I'm glad they're including more. Also, when's Dipper showing up? Has Dipper showed up yet in this show yet? Because it, it was rumored that he was going to show up as a frog. Or human, I guess, because actually we're in the human world now. But you guys get it. Oh, okay, I'm done stuttering on words. Me? No. Why do we look alike? Yeah. <gasps> Papa Dyer, you should audition. Go ahead, take my spot in line. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Nonsense. Uh, this town could be harsh on newcomers. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, who is it? I'm gonna, like, I'm sorry for stopping, but because this makes no sense. But I'm, I want to know who this is. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. I, I, I hopefully this doesn't spoil anything. Uh, Hey Siri, who's the old man in Amphibia Episode 7 Season 3 talking to Hoppadiah Planner? That is the most specific question I've ever asked Siri. Oh, it's still talking. I get it. Okay, it didn't work. Hold on. Oh, I think I found it. That's who... I recognize him from The Incredibles, because he was... Wow, and now I don't remember his name. Bob's Boss. That's... I knew I knew it from somewhere. I wasn't sure, but that was it. I'm going to have to cut that because I was like a five-minute investigation to figure out who that was. But that makes so much sense now. All right, I'll set the scene for you. You got this elbow cream, right? You put it on, you feel like brand new. You're so surprised, you say... Oh, wow, great! Mm, no, not feeling it. Okay, so he's in an elbow commercial? Is he James from Big Time Rush? I'm confused here because I'm pretty sure... That this, I mean, I guess it makes sense that it was a bunch of old men outside in a line. This wouldn't be a kind of situation where you'd see, like, like let's not like you're lining up to get Spider-Man like Tom Holland did for Hollywood tryouts, you know, tryouts, Hollywood auditions. So, makes sense. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Everyone, we've got a new catchphrase. Huh? Ooh. Yep, can't see a thing. Hollywood, more like Hollywood. Oh God! Oh, what what has this generation done to TV? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. But still, okay. So Hot Pop is gonna become like the next top branding elbow commercial frog man. Sprig is trying to look like an '80s cartoon character, and Polly is portraying the recent generation. Where all we wear is chains and shit. I have mine on, so. But. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Let's, uh, nerdy. <sighs> I still don't think this is a good idea. It's not. But probably. as long as it's for something small that no one sees, maybe it'll be harmless. Billboard! On a blimp! On a plane! In the air! In the sky! Do your elbows crack when you bend them? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a picture of this face for Snapchat sticker purposes. Guys, this is beautiful. Get this Snapchat filter if you want real quick. Oh god, continue. Say what? Whoa, Hop Hop! You're on TV! Yeah, he is. How did I get inside the picture box? And why am I saying lines from that play I did yesterday? Bad news, guys. It's on every channel. Hop Hop, that wasn't a play. They were filming you for a commercial! Yes, they were. And now he's broadcasting. <laughs> but no. Uh, so did they just, like, without his permission, just be like, yeah, we're going to use you for a commercial. Then you give him, then you give him any paperwork to do or anything. They were just kind of like, all right, let's just use this footage real quick and just, let's get it on here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. No, on tomorrow. Yeah. And just don't tell him and put it on every channel. From like two to like twenty seven, so it goes everywhere. I also want it on HBO and um, uh, CBS and Disney Plus. This dude is. Are you serious? And they said I was a fool to not pay for ad free streaming. I still think this is overkill. Sorry, but we need to get the commercials pulled before this gets out of control. Holy crud! Whoa. Whoa. There is no shot that in 
if this could actually happen, this would be crazy, but there's no way they were like, all right, I want this on every single taxi, billboard, and, and that would be, it's gonna show it on a blimp, or a plane, watch. I'm, I'm calling it now, but, like, is it on the bus they're on right now? We can't even see the bus right now, because I feel like it is. Are they just doing this while they're driving down the street? Like, okay, paint this here now, go, go, go. They're at red light, put it on. <laughs> but am I deserving? Am I living a dream that should have gone to Humphrey? Am I on a t-shirt? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! They have mugs too! All I'm gonna say is that this is... Once you are noticed on anything, this is basically everyone's imagination. I am saying that because that's what my hope was back when I back when I started YouTube was that I was gonna be like I'm gonna have stuff on hats, T-shirts, be a bit like like Dyer would be kid, Greg Hefferly, great example. He literally is everywhere in Times Square, New York, and it's every person's imagination. Everyone's. It's not just young people. It's middle-aged people, old people. Everyone's one who wants to be on a billboard occasionally. Like like, could you imagine that? Like you're driving down the road and you just see yourself on billboard like. That's me. Yeah, that's what we're going through right here, except this is actually happening, and it's overkill. Now, could I please speak to- Ah, Hapadaya Planner, it's me, I'm Hapadaya. Not anyone else, only me. HP, I love your work. I want you to audition for a role in my latest film. Say what? <laughs> if only life actually worked like this, like the, the oh man, I'm t I'm I'm telling you, like <laughs> woo wee, good lord, dude's living a whole everyone's dream. He this dude, Hop Hop is living everyone's dream in a matter of fifteen minutes, if that. Out here being billboards and coffee mugs and shirts, and now he's getting to a movie, and in the movie he plays a frog. Like can you imagine? Because that's definitely gonna happen. I'm calling it. It's a movie about frogs. It, it, you think if he's an agent, me just show someone his badge? Like, I understand Anne breaking in, but you think that... He works with the government. You... All I'm trying to say. That, that's basically it there. Um, as for the rest, um... Apparently security in Hollywood sucks. Yes, Thor Ragnarok. Looks like you found out my day job, Hoppadaya. Mm. Where are you off to? Oh, that's gonna... Mm, yeah, okay. That's gonna make him feel. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. Here, but I know that Hop Pop's just gonna be like, "You take it. You need it more than I do, and you've been wanting it for longer than I have. Maybe I don't actually know how long how, or how old Pop Pop is, but I'm just going to assume that he's like, take it. You want it more than, or you need it more than I do right now, and he's been like, just take it. I, I want. I want you to have it, and so forth. <sighs> no, Humphrey. He's waiting for you. Huh? What are you talking about? It's only because of your kindness that I even had this chance. Yep. And it's high time I return the favor. Facts. Makes sense, too, because as Anne has told Hop Hop like 18 times, we don't need more attention on us. You're already walking and talking frogs that are the size of humans. So let's not get you noticed more than you already are. Just, just saying, because it makes sense and that way we're undercover. You know? That kind of thing. That's right, Anne. From now on, I want to be a director. <laughs> what? I mean, he's not wrong, though. It's kind of accurate. A director does have the power of making the film and choosing the cast, so it makes sense. That's if it happens, <laughs> you know, like, you never truly know, so. They need to learn how to cope on their own. That is true. Maybe you're right. I'll go talk to them. Hmm, how did you get them so crunchy? Oh, that's the cicadas. Thanks, Mom. Do 
I smell cookies? I forgot that Anne just likes to eat bugs still. I, I completely spaced on how that's still a thing. What happens? Weren't she supposed to... How was she even eating? She had like 10 cavities. I'm pretty sure she should not be eating anything. Unless a major time skip happened between the episode that occurred and now here. Because that's a lot of... That, what? No. It, my point is, you have 28 teeth in your mouth. Ten are gone, and we don't even know where those ten are, which I'm assuming are molars, because, you know, molars, when you're crunching, when you have to crunch on food, but I'm going to stop talking about teeth. Yes, but let's clean this up and get back to the village. Sorry, the what now? Why, our miniature recreation of Wartwood, of course. May I have this dance, Tiny Sylvia? Oh, we're in that state of paranoia. All right. We've lost them. Guys, we lost the frogs. <laughs> we, lost, we lost our only hope. And that was keeping their sanity in check. And now Hop Pop is a domino. Or a small chunk of brick. I'm not sure what that really is. And Sylvia is a hairpin. With a tiny bucket. And what looks to be a noodle... I've got a lead! One of my colleagues knows a string theory expert who works in the area! Uh... In other words, we found someone who might be your ticket back to Amphibia! Hey! Good news! Good news, Train! We need that information sooner than later because that needs to happen now. Because we need to reunite Anne with Sasha so that those two can fight Marcy and then get Marcy and then fight Andreas, kill Andreas. And actually, they have to kill Marcy, too. I'm not sure how that really looks. Is Marcy still in there? I don't know yet. I didn't ask that question. We haven't seen Marcy since it happens. I don't know. But we did in the, in the trailer. I mean, the introduction to the episode. Point being, we need to fix Marcy. <laughs> I know that didn't make sense. Grand, grand, I can't talk. Dr. Frakes, before we meet her. Okay, let me know when you're ready, Dr. Jan. Is that Dr. Jan? Okay. Sorry, guys. No good news to report. Aww, man. All right, kids, back to the tiny village. I, I get why she did it, though, because I, I, I think she's going to say something else instead or give them cookies. I mean, the episode involves cookies, so I think she's going to give them cookies. But I think the thing is that it, it's understandable to not tell them yet because if you were to tell them ahead of time, it gets their hopes up. And if this ends up being one of those things where, like, it can happen, but it can't happen now, it makes them feel worse. Now, we all hope this happens sooner than later, but my question is why don't they just find out where Andreas is sending these robots and shit from and then intercept that point and then jump to that portal? Oh, I'm just talking. Throw it out there. It's an option. Or this is the... I keep telling you kids, we don't have extra snacks back here. Oh, hello. Are you here to see Dr. Frakes? Yeah, absolutely. Doctor! Mm, I mean, maybe. No big deal. Meh. Look, I'm going to keep it a solid real quick. Just throwing it out there. I'll probably show it on screen again for a second, if I edit this correctly. That looks a lot like Lapis. Just saying. That's pretty much all I gotta say. I'm not saying that they copied a style, I'm saying it looks amazing. What I'm saying is that it looks a lot like Lapis. What kind of discovery? Oh, nothing big. Just a portal to another dimension. Did you say portal? Now come with me. Terry, music. Okay. <sighs> the great Dr. Frakes may currently be stuck running the Brainnesium and... Okay, um, okay. So this person... So the, so the person that looks like Lapis is the assistant then. And this crazy person, Doctor, who we... Do not trust still, at least I don't, is the one that has found portals to other worlds. Hmm. That's, uh, that's interesting. Let's keep going. Voila! The freak's portal! Holy! That is, uh, yeah, it's not allowed in your basement. 
few months ago. Okay. When the city was hit with a wave of very strange energy. Oh! That ain't good. That's, so we've got a different point of view now. So that so that's what that looked like from a different point of view. So Okay. Interesting. I'm I'm trying to find a way cuz look, the fact that these shows are starting up again on March 19th on the same day makes me have to believe that they're going to connect them in some way or form. And I'm not and they kind of already have I think I thought they did. Yeah, they did because they connected the amphibia with the owl house, putting the 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 chest in Ida's basement to her house, which we all saw. If you don't know that, uh, then I might show up on screen. If not, I'll link in in the description. But it's hard to convert these shows are correlated. But like all Disney shows do, they kind of do that. They hit other shows in their shows. But like like for the Hop Pop book and Owl House as well. But you guys get what I'm talking about. Whoa. Oh, oh, wait, oh, 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 God, that explains so much, too. That explains that as well. Because that's what the, that's what Grunkle Stan found in frog form in season two, and it was hers. Oh, wow, that is crazy. That's, co that's crazy cool how they connected that. Interesting. That is cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the episode where you meet Gr Grunkle, Stan, Frog, and Seuss Frog, and you will find that he has that exact same item in his possession, and that came from here. And, but that opened different portals across Earth after, as it was a lightning strike, and it went across the entire town? That ain't good! Everyone says that my image is a fake. Okay. Hard to get a good picture with all that magnetic distortion. What's it? What's it? What's it? I think I know what that is. That's from the Owl House. That's from the Owl House. I'm sorry. I know I'm watching a video right now, but that's amazing because that's. That's phenomenal. That's beautiful. That's great. Oh, I love Disney so much. Keep spinning. There we go. What are these other images? Um, we've got like a blue realm here. Is the bottom right supposed to be like Gravity Falls? What is that? A world from Phineas and Ferb, if I've ever seen it. Like, I'm not saying it is, but I guarantee you, if you were to play back every single world that Phineas and Ferb jumped to when they went counterclockwise, I'm pretty sure. No, no, they, they went on when, when they were around clockwise. Sorry, and they went through all like 40 different dimensions. I'm pretty sure at least one of them has to be that one. I'm just saying. In which case, I now want to go back and watch that scene so I can see if the Owl House was ever teased ahead of time. I don't think it was, but if it were to have been teased prior, to, that would have been amazing. Hmm. Ow. I see. <laughs> Terry, clear my schedule. Ah! Freight field activate! Yeah, that ain't good. Um, we all saw that coming, Lyle. Like, they, whenever someone is rumored to not be trusted, you just don't go to that person. You're just kind of like, if they can't be trusted, should we even be putting them on the consideration list of people we should trust? Like, if you can't trust them without even needing to go to see them first, just don't put them on the list of people that you think can't be trusted. It's not much harder than that. Just don't go there at all. Just, just stay what you're doing. Stop what you think you want to do and do something else, pretty much. Oh. <laughs> hey, kid! Snack time! Uh. What? No! I saw your fault! 
Terry. You'll never work again, you hear me? Never again! It's facts, though. You bring up that you have, if you have any food on you, and some random kid, it's just, like, I swear to God, you pull out any food, and it's like some kids just like, food? You have food? Like, it's annoying. It, it really is. But that was overkill. So, not going to go into that. One bit. And I think the portal we'll build together will be more than enough to get me a grant. Wait, you mean... <gasps> yep, I'm going to help you get these goobers home. Yeah! yeah! Thanks, Terry. You're good people. Hey, Terry, can I drive your car? Oh, we... Absolutely not. That is a... No, that's the end of that episode. Okay. Um... I'm excited to direct the Christmas finale of the season that I know is Christmas because it literally is labeled in Christmas right hand stuff. So, yeah. If you guys want to see more of Amphibia's Season 2B reactions from... Season 2B. Season 3B reactions from me, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Make sure to react to Season 3B once it comes out on time every single weekend so you guys don't have to wait for me to do it four months later. You're watching me on BD Heath and I will see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Okay?